Hopefully the light is pretty good. That seven mile bridge. Well, I'm on the seven mile bridge. Yeah. I don't know where to fish. I think we're gonna try something we haven't tried before. I think we're gonna keep going. I think I wanna try some areas I haven't fished yet. It's been a great two weeks of fishing, so I can't complain, man. I'm really happy how the fishing's been. I really like the winter here. Kayaks in the water, water is nice and clear. Let's head out a mile or so. Man, I, I, you know, forecast was calling for a bit of wind. Every now and then the forecast is wrong in your favor. I think we hit that today. Okay. I know heavy breathing. I put the camera back on my head. I'm sorry. I'm getting older, so my breathing is... You're gonna be listening to it on a calm day. Let's start on four. Figure out where we're gonna fish. Sometimes I realize I'm a really lucky guy. Today I'm lucky. Water's 66, whoa! I think that's cold for these parts. Let's blast out a mile. <laughs> Warp speed, engage, I'll take it from there. All right, been fishing for about zero minutes. Time to take the sweater off. Okay, so I drove, I'm staying in Lower Matacumba and I drove about one hour change to where I'm fishing and this water is so much clearer so i'm terrified this fishing's gonna be so hard it's always a little bit uh, a little bit dirtier where i've been fishing and 10 feet no nah, it's usually been about seven or eight this is 10 foot plus oh boy i don't i feel very not confident in trying this <laughs> i feel like this is gonna be harder right now but let's give it a go We'll push out to 25, maybe we'll find more aggressive fish there. I was really wanting to fish 15 to 20 foot stuff, but now that I'm seeing how clear this water is, all these rocks and all this stuff, it's gonna be tough. All right, one of the big things I'm gonna have to do here for sure is to make sure I'm casting at the structures. I'm, all right, it's a little bit deeper, I'm 20 feet, so hopefully not as spooky all this stuff, but yeah. I think I definitely need to make sure I'm casting out structure. I think no better way to kick it off than maybe with some top water though. Okay, none of those sorts of predators on this ledge. I was hoping to maybe see. Okay, okay. That's probably a good thing though. Plenty of structure down here. Let's throw Tim's jig around a little bit here. I think we'll just keep going then. There's a little bit of life here. Alright, let's bust out the crystal minnow, I guess.
Okay, put a trolling plug out there. Yozuri Crystal Minnow, that's a good one. Let's see if we pick up anything on that. Gonna try, uh, got a rock that's about half a mile out from here. Let's try that one. It's small, so no, this is like one of the first times the trolling plug hasn't had a bump. I think there's some structure there. Tell by the water even. I'm gonna do a quick troll around the perimeter. Very exciting stuff, I know. And then probably lob a couple casts. I've had no taps on the troll. Gosh, that's not a good start. It's very unlike the other area I fished. Ah, <sighs> trolling. Not for me. Let's see what we got here. Uh, lane snappers again. Okay, this might be who's, who's biting my lure so far. These are like mini muttons. I thought they were okay to eat. They were a little softer than the other snappers, but they are pretty. Seem to be one of the more aggressive snappers for sure. And some bites here, they're really small though. Guess not. <laughs> it's a bigger rock than I thought it was gonna be. rock doesn't have much, not that I'm seeing at least. I don't know about these dolphins on this spot, man. I think they're bad for business. Jack. This spot doesn't seem very good. It's got a lot of small blue runners and Lane snappers galore. Hang on, one mile run. Hopefully weather holds up for it. Okay, first two spots weren't very good. I'm about two miles out now. Wind's supposed to kick north. So that's right from the beach. So worst case scenario, as soon as I start feeling that getting going, boogie back the other direction. Booty slick, got the speed, got the drive in an emergency. So I'm not really too worried. Let's just enjoy, enjoy what we can hopefully find out here, I guess. Hopefully something. All right, let's make a couple casts. Let's see what I can hook up with here. I'm using a quarter ounce jig, cause three sixteenths, cause there's no current right now. So there's another rock right here. So I got a couple of rocks to work. It's very different than the rocks I have been fishing. I don't know, we'll see. Definitely deeper.
more structure here. Oh, here we go. more structure on these rocks. Braze bee grouper, right? I think that's a graze bee, yeah. These guys are always cool looking. Rock hind, maybe they get called sometimes. I think they look super cool. Grazebee hole here. So these fish get called grazebees back where I live quite a bit on the smaller side. Sometimes you hear them called rock hinds. Pretty fish though. Got these headlocks jigs, I'm going, going with them. We got too many tail biters right now. Hmm, this is hard, I'm not sure what to do. Too many of these guys on this rock. I mean, this rock is loaded with these guys. Probably other group or two, but some life out there. It's small though. Small blue runners, maybe. There's bait under me. Maybe a couple fish. Guys are everywhere.
grouper. It's a grouper. Red grouper got boinking noises and pretty lips. Got pretty lips, but they are cool looking. Our leader's still okay here. Not the best, but I think it'll do okay. This feels interesting. It feels like there's less fish here for sure. Okay, that's what's here. It's just a big school lane snapper. Okay. I got one more play, one more trick in the book. I don't really want to keep any of these lanes, man. Oh, I thought they were okay. They're beautiful fish though. Okay, there's a big rock down there. I'm sure you can see it. There's lots of other small rocks here. So I don't know. Let's try here first and then bounce around. It's very different out here than where I'm fishing currently, I think. Stressful wake. Up and down, up and down. These are pretty big lane snappers, but um, yeah, I'm more surprised their lack of a uh, mutton snap. I guess that's the main target on lures. Some pretty large ones, wow. Definitely some of the bigger ones I've caught so far. I'm gonna give this about 10, 20 minutes and then work my way back to the beach then. A lot of bigger rocks here, so. Tail. All right, that's a great sight for sore eyes. I do like these guys seeing these guys more than the lane snappers, that's for sure. diesel middle yeah too aggressive gotta stick it to stick to a little more subtlety i think is gonna still be the best way to do this stick to these guys for now i feel like this area should be prime it's like kind of surprised Jack, a red grouper, oh sorry, a yellowtail with a red grouper following him. 
That was hilarious. It's a better yellowtail right there, but I'm gonna put that one back for now. That was really cool. So the, the yellowtail had the Z-Man in his mouth. Red Gruber was trying to rip it out. It's definitely some fish up here at least. The small stuff though, man. Very different habitat, I guess, than I was fishing by the house. I'm sure certain ones are just way better for muttons. Certain ones better for yellowtails and grouper, etc. This is beautiful either way out here, though. All I know is try not to hit bottom. That's one thing I've learned so far. Brunson. I feel like I could do this near the beach. Like that this is not anything special what I'm doing right here. And it might just make more sense for me to go back towards the beach. Um, first of all, I'll be closer to home, obviously. Alright, well, I think I'm going to head back towards the beach. It's beautiful out. One thing I'm noticing is zero movement of current today in this area. And too calm, like too clear, too calm. I won't be catching muttons on artificials in this is what I'm thinking. These fish are going to be too smart. Like they, they probably see a lot of boats occasionally on windier days. So I'm thinking. I think I need to go back towards the beach then. This looks like a blast to pick apart though. Just went over a ton of fish here. Hang on, hang on. They might be jacks, but wow, that was a lot of fish. Hang on, hang on. For two seconds, I got to tie a new balloon knot. Spanish pack will beat it up. I also don't think when it's this calm, this is the right area to fish. I think I gotta go to the passes. I go back up on the beach, I think. I'm not really feeling what I'm not feeling this one, honestly. Mackerel, zero mackerel, sorry, little one. Not the one I'm after. Probably a good chunk bait out here, but. I see a lot of mackerel under me. I literally saw them under the kayak, and then dart over to my, my, my chig here. I think those were mackerel. Maybe it was a king mackerel? I don't know. Could be jacks too. Uh, yellow jack. Pretty cool, I flipped my jig and pop, there he was. Oh, I'm catching some fish, nothing crazy though. The bait's on the, is off the reef for sure though. Noticing that part.
lot of small zeros. So you know it's time to leave the first lizard fish. I think I overstayed my welcome now. Oh, it's got a lot of fish on it, man. It's just not really... Seeing a lot of bait out here now. Back closer to the beach, but still nothing doing. Okay, with that north wind kicked up some bait, but not, still not what we need. All right, I'm gonna work this ledge now instead. Just watch this be, you know, obviously I overran a fish to find fish today. What I'm guessing is gonna happen, I'm seeing some life on it already, 18 feet. I'm just gonna hold this 18 foot contour, 16. Let's see what we pick up here. That stuff out there wasn't great for me might be better for the kayak what I'm trying to do here in 16 feet. I do like having just enough wind to, to get it from being too slick. I feel like those fish won't respond very well if it's too slick up top. Closer to the beach. Probably doesn't get hit very hard. Is it good is a question. It's a really interesting question too, right? Is it any good? Water's a little rougher now, so I have more confidence working this. This morning it was too calm. I was 20 feet of water. You know, I just got enough breeze to cover cover my presence better, I think. Jack? Grouper? Yellow Jack. I like those things, man. Oh, there's a lot of life in this zone, man. Question is, we got what it takes to put this all together right now. I think I like pointing my kayak a little bit better into the wind though, versus falling against it. Did I injure him? Oh gosh. Definitely a shark's coming for him. Sorry, dude. Surprised no barracudas here even. This is a four foot drop. It is serious. Finally, another bite. It's been quiet. As good as I'm getting, huh? Not a good sign.
Definitely not a good sign if that's as good as it might get for me right now. Where would the bigger muttons be? Where would the mangroves be? The yellowtail on this ledge. It's a massive ledge, but I feel like it should have some fish. Slightly better fish. Hey, it's definitely an upgrade. Is it a grunt? I think it's my homeboy. Grunt, that's a Key West grunt. Not the white grunts we've been catching, but similar. There we go, that's something better. Wow, look at the size of that lane snapper. That's a lane, right? Yeah. Wow, that's definitely the biggest one of these so far. There's definitely a lot of these uh, lane snappers here. I think I figured out a nice drift though for myself. Interesting question, do I prefer the Z-Man to the regular plastics? I kind of prefer the regular plastics action over the Z-Man. I feel like I do get more bites, but these lane snappers are, are making quick work of anything I'm throwing here, honestly. So I really want more muttons and less lane snappers. But I think this area is just like, whoa, it's covered in them. Definitely I'm getting more mutton bites here though. lanes I've seen. Got a pretty precisely land your casts on these on this ledge though. It's like a mutton here. I got a diesel minnow tied on right now, three inch one. It's interesting how moody these fish can be. Like the muttons, most days are pretty aggressive today. They're, they're not, I think they're here. I'm gonna keep a, start keeping a couple of these guys. They, they are on, you know, plus size lane, 13s, 14s. I do want fresh fish for dinner, and uh, yeah, let me give that a try on diesel minnow. I feel like those are the. The least well-regarded snapper. 
like they're probably the white perch of the snapper family. Just, just based on how numerous they are. Not every day is a slam dunk. I did put those pliers in there. Not every day. Wouldn't say every day is a loss, but not every day is a slam. These guys. Definitely life out here. Scattered. Found a ton of fish today, man. I'm not gonna lie, but I think today's I found a lot of fish that weren't in a good mood. Between the super calm conditions this morning, it's crazy clear right now. I see a lot of life right now under me here. A lot of lane snapper again. I feel like those lane snapper get first dibs at a jig, and then everything is like, nah. Ah, oh, broke me off. Scumbago. Right, that's gonna be the last lane I keep. There we go. Grouper. Okay, let's see if he swims out. I didn't think that's what that was gonna be. Well, now we got ya. Where'd it go now? Goliath. Little Goliath, huh?
Remora. Huh? Come on. I'll let you go too. You're related to Kobe, I think. Interesting day. It's not quite the same as fishing was everywhere else so far. It'll be my first Goliath on a reef bottom here. Be it not a big one, but still, that's kind of cool. Jack. Man, these things are crazy aggressive. That is the largest lane I think I've seen so far. Wow, it's probably what, 14 or 15? I'm gonna keep him, man. These guys are probably really abundant and a good choice. They got like these yellow lines on them. So, yeah, that's a really nice one. I, you know, honestly, I don't have any uh, measuring device with him, but it's the biggest one I've caught so far. Like, I'm catching fish pretty regularly now. Granted, most of it is small lane snapper, but I think that's just what's here. But I went through all this stuff this morning. <laughs> Nothing was biting at all. Mutton. Look at the size of the... <laughs> These are cool. Cool fish, man. Incredible size of that fish right there. Ooh. Oh no. No, finally. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at me go. Why am I giggling? I broke that fish off just two seconds ago. <laughs> Lucky me. Thank you. I'll take my jig head and my shrimp lure back, and you, that is our trade. So many bites. A lot of action today, dude. What's this? More lanes? Yeah. Um, it's very different this way, man. Less, uh, Less muttons. That's a grouper. A lot of little groupers on these rocks too, man. Oh, yellow tail. Whoa, stud. Cool. All right, let's keep that guy. We've got enough meat, I think, now. I think we're entering the F round stage. This bite took forever to get going today. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Rock might have some yellowtail. Is that what we got mostly here? Whoa. It's a mangrove. Different rock, man. It's crazy. Every rock is just different. This one gave up a yellowtail and now a mangrove snap. That's a keeper, but hey, let's get him out of here. Man, this area just has a lot of grouper too. That's the other thing I'm noticing. <laughs> this 
not as uh, muttony as the, the other spots I've fished. Cooper season's closed, so it really won't do me any good to drop a live bait or two down, honestly. But it's still pretty cool to see. Is that a grouper? Yeah, that's definitely a grouper. Another Goliath, probably. Felt like it. Cut him out. Go with grouper. Uh, I left my board at home, and this one, well, doesn't matter because the season's closed, but I'm guessing that one's probably 18 or 19. Red grouper. Pretty fish. I think it's super interesting how different all these environments are. Jack. Only thing we're missing today is muttons, man. Everything else seems to be great numbers. I think that was a, a lane or a grouper right there, man. Ooh, maybe these are jacks. Something's grabbing the lanes. Mm -mm. It's the only thing that kind of sucks about this Z-Man stuff. You get those bites and they, they wrap it up pretty good. Still, when it's lane snappers and Spanish mackerel, you need that durability. I get it. It's crazy there's not much mutton action here. Like, the other spots, I was catching them both together. Here, I'm like, what I'm catching is the lanes. There's a mutton, finally. Little one though. Grouper. Yep. It's gotta be grouper. Maybe not. That's a grouper. Oh no, he got me. I felt him. Dang. Those groupers suck sometimes. Gotta stop this one. That's a red. Maybe another Goliath, I don't know. Oh man, I thought I had him too. First time trying this area, so a uh, little different than where I was fishing, closer to the Marathon and Isla Mirada areas. 
Um, this seems like it's got a lot heavier structure. Uh, honestly, I was a little surprised. Um, no buttons, uh, really a lot of lane snappers, but um, you know, it's probably gonna be last day I'm getting weather out front for here. So I don't think I'll get too much more of that, but <laughs> had a lot of action today. Let's give these lane snappers a try, man. Really enjoyed myself out here either way. So, all right, let's get back to the launch. It's chilly out now, so let's go, let's call it this EPDL kayak. It's performed great today, man. It's been just really, really good for this sort of fishing. So I like that. Now I know one mile stuff might be where it's at sometimes. I think the mutton's a good kayak pursuit. That and the jacks are fun, and uh, all the little fun yellowtail. Uh, lane snappers, all that stuff, the panfish. There's so much to do, man. It's 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 a blast. Really thankful. Had a great time here so far. Well, check the video's description. Links everything used. I kind of used uh, a mix of the Z-Men uh, streaks. I used the Salt Strong Power Prawns a little bit. These seem to work pretty well here. I don't know. Well, two bars down. Did a lot of miles today. Great kayak. Great place to fish, great subscribers and non-subscribers audience. So appreciate everyone for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, I do it on the kayak. I still think it's an, a different take. There aren't too many larger channels still doing kayak fishing mostly. Um, so uh, I personally always think that the kayak it's just a fun way to fish. It's you versus the elements a little bit more. There's only so much you can do on the kayak. That doesn't always translate into maximum content production. <laughs> it make it sound like a, a job description, because it, it kind of is um, from a viewing standpoint. Maximum content production is important to pay bills and stuff like that on the business side of things, right? But that looked like a snuck. It was a barracuda. Let me get out of here. Hey, it's the first time you using one of the lane snappers uh, in a video. We tried it the other night. It's kind of soft. I think it's going to be best. Honestly, I, I think I know what I want to do with it. So this guy's about 14 inches. I measured him back here. It seems really soft, like a vermilion snapper, and not quite like yellowtail. So let me just compare these two. I don't think I'm gonna enjoy cooking it. I think it's gonna be ceviche. I think that's what's gonna make sense. Lane snapper is really soft. Um, reminds me of like speckled trout, uh, weak fish or gray trout. Really soft. Because the I was gonna compare it to the yellowtail, and yellowtail is already kind of soft as it is, but it's great flavor. So I'm guessing this guy tastes great, uh, just like all the other snappers, but it's soft. Uh, it really reminded me of vermilion snapper when I was cutting into it, because really it has a lot of give. And I don't want to deep fry it. I'm trying to uh, avoid those oils. Okay, I just filleted up another one. It's a really soft fish. I'm honestly I'm not talented enough to figure out what to do with this fish on a whim.
that's a wrap. My wife Meg, she left on Monday. And I'm out of here this week. So, jumped in the shower. I'm going to pack up the car. Fish differently this year. I had a great time. Thank you, Florida Keith. Uh, fishing is always really good for me here. Uh, I really am enjoying the process of learning it and uh, trying to get a little better. I, I don't know if I'm taking a unique take or or just a dumb take at it, uh, doing it from a kayak and you know being kind of stubborn in fishing with lures. Typically, uh, I know bait's definitely more efficient and a better way to fish around here, but this year I didn't even really fish with bait once. So mm, a lot of nice mutton snappers this year. And um, actually, the surprising thing is, but for the most part, fishing was good. Let's try this lane snapper, shall we? So, I was a little intimidated by cooking it, especially since I have to pack up and do a bunch of dishes. So, um, let's try it. It's soft. It reminded me of vermilion snapper filleting it. So, here we go. Since I'm only judging it from a ceviche perspective, it is my least favorite of the snappers I've had uh, with this prep. I think the texture, I don't know if I like the texture as much. Because if I had it with uh, ceviche with um, mangrove snapper and yellowtail and the yellow jacks, I feel like the texture of this fish is definitely different. Love to hear how, you know, Florida residents and visitors cook these. Um, they seem really abundant to begin with, so probably a good choice in the future, uh, especially if I go back to that area next year. So, well, I do appreciate everyone for watching and being a part of the channel. Uh, I will be back here hopefully sooner than later. See you on the next video. Lane Snapper, good panfish. I'll play with it in the future again.